good evening to one and all transformers it is a topic now we are going to discuss in this video lecture what is a transformer principle of operation and working of single phase transformer emf equation transformation ratio construction details applications of transformer these are all the topics now we are going to cover in this video lecture and it is useful for first year engineering students who are studying the subject basic electrical engineering it is also useful for second year triple e students who are studying the subject electrical machines let us know the answer for the question what is a transformer transformer is a static device which transfers electrical power from one alternating current circuit to another with the desired change in voltage and current without change in frequency so this is statement of transformer here transformer is a static device we have written transformer is a static device that means there is no movable part or rotating parts in this transformer this is the meaning of the term static device and it transfers electric power from one alternating current to another alternating current circuit that means transfer of electric power happening from primary coil to secondary coil both coils are constructed both coils are wounded in a common magnetic core look at the diagram it will be easy to understand it consists of two coils which are electrically separated but linked through a common magnetic circuit the coil at which source is connected called primary coil the coil at which load is connected called secondary coil the primary winding has n1 number of turns and the secondary winding has n2 number of turns and e1 e2 are em of induced in primary and secondary coils e suffix 1 that indicates em of induced primary coil number 2 which is indicated in suffix number 2 e2 v2 are indicating the parameters of secondary winding let us take the principle of operation of transformer it works on the principle of mutual induction it is a working principle of transformer the principle of mutual induction states that when two coils are inductively coupled or magnetically coupled and if current in one coil is changed uniformly then an emf gets induced in the other coil this emf can drive current when a closed path is provided to it when the primary winding is excited by an alternating voltage an alternating current is produced which completes its path through magnetic core it is common magnetic core thus an alternating flux links with the secondary winding this is secondary winding as the flux is alternating according to faraday's law of electromagnetic induction mutually induced emf gets developed in the secondary winding if now load is connected to the secondary winding this emf drives a current through it if circuit closed means current flow will takes place in the working of transformer when an alternating voltage v1 is supplied to primary an alternating flux f is set up in the core again the similar words given here which was discussed in the previous slide this alternating flux links both windings and uh, induces em of e1 and e2 in them according to faraday's law of electromagnetic induction the em of e1 is termed as primary em of and em of e2 is termed as secondary em of from this we can write equation for em of that is e1 is equal to minus n1 d5 by dt here e1 is em of induced in primary coil n1 is number of turns in primary coil d5 by dt that is change of flux with respect to time differentiation of flux d5 with respect to time dt e2 is em of induced in secondary coil n2 is number of turns in secondary coil e2 is equal to minus n2 d5 by d dt the equation of e1 and e2 has been written based on faraday's law of electromagnetic induction let us take the ratio between e2 and e1 that is e2 by e1 is equal to n2 by n1 
both negative signs will be cancelled. If n2 is greater than n1, then e2 is greater than e1. Here, note that magnitudes of e2 and e1 depend upon the number of turns on the secondary and the primary respectively. Let us take EM of equation. Look at the waveform in x-axis we have taken omega t radian per second time in radians and in y-axis we have taken flux phi. We have drawn one full cycle of sine wave the maximum flux is phi m and the minimum flux is minus phi m. So phi is equal to phi m sine omega t. Primary side data AC voltage V1 it circulate AC current I1. So this one should be written in suffix not like V1 that means uh, 1 should not be equal to the letter V V suffix 1 and here I suffix 1 produce flux phi 1 and uh, primary winding N1. It induce EM of E1 in primary side due to self inductance and induce E2 that is EM of E2 in secondary due to flux linkage with secondary winding. From Faraday's law of electromagnetic induction, average EM of induced in each turn is equal to average rate of change of flux. That is average EM of per turn is equal to d phi by dt. Here d phi by dt is equal to change in flux divided by time required for change in flux. So consider the 1 by 4 cycle of the flux. Complete cycle gets completed in 1 by f seconds. Hence, 1 by 4th time. So, here total time period t is equal to 1 by f. It is total time period for full cycle. Right? We have to note at which duration maximum flux occurs. That is phi m. That occurs 1 by 4 of duration, right? The change in flux is from 0 to phi m. So, d phi by dt is equal to maximum flux phi m minus 0. It is the starting point 0. So, the difference of fluxes maximum minus minimum phi m minus 0. And dt is the time duration at which maximum flux occurs. That is 1 by 4 of. So, we can rearrange which gives 4F phi m Weber per second. Average EM of per turn is, is equal to 4F phi m volt. All you know well that form factor is the ratio between RMS value to the average value which is equal to 1.11. To get the value of RMS we have to multiply 1.11 with the average value. So RMS value of induced EM of per turn 1.11 into 4F phi m which is equal to 4.44 f phi m. There are n1 number of primary turns hence the RMS value of induced EM of E1 is equal to n1 into 4.44 f phi m volts. There are n2 number of secondary turns. The RMS value of induced EM of E2 is equal to n2 into 4.44 f phi m volts. So voltage transformation ratio uh, this is the uh, symbolic representation for a transformer. Input side V1 primary voltage, V2 secondary voltage, E1 primary EMF, E2 secondary EMF, N1 number of turns at primary, N2 is number of turns in secondary. So, transformation voltage transformation ratio indicated using the letter K, it is a ratio between secondary EMF to primary EMF and it is also equal to secondary number of turns to primary number of turns. The constant K is called voltage transformation ratio. If N2 that is number of turns in secondary is greater than N1 then K is greater than 1. We get E2 is the greater than E1 or V2 is greater than V1. Then the transformer is called step up transformer. For step down transformer N2 value should be lesser than N1. If N2 is equal to N1, then K is equal to 1, where E2 also equal to E1. Similarly, V2 is equal to V1. Then the transformer is called isolation transformer or 1 is to 1 transformer. Also, we have to know concept of an ideal transformer. A transformer is said to be 
ideal if it satisfies the following point it has no losses v1 i1 is equal to v2 i2 its windings have zero resistance leakage flux is zero that is all flux produced by primary links with secondary permeability of core is so high that negligible current is required to establish the flux in it let us take current ratio for ideal transformer there will be no losses that means input is equal to output where v1 i1 is equal to v2 i2 let us take current current ratio secondary current to primary current i2 to i1 which is equal to v1 by v2 so 1 by k here we have written hence currents are in the inverse ratio of voltage transformation ratio this simply means that if we raise the voltage there is a corresponding decrease of current we have to understand the concept of practical transformer differs from the ideal transformer in many respects the practical transformer has ion losses winding resistance magnetic leakage giving rise to leakage reactances let us take the types of transformer based on its construction they are core type shell type and berry type here berry type used to rarely so let us consider core type transformer this is the graphical representation of core type transformer I'll look at the diagram we have windings at uh, two sides coil encircles the core but here core encircles the coil it is for shell type transformer let us take the difference between core type and shell type the first one core has only one window but in shell type core has two winding windows as we said uh, winding encircles the core in core type but in shell type core encircles the winding cylindrical windings are used in core type sandwich type windings are used in shell type it is easy to repair for core type transformer it is not so easy to repair for shell type transformer better cooling since more surface is exposed to the atmosphere for core type cooling is not very effective for shell type and uh, this is also we have to concentrate how the core is immersed inside the transformer tank where oil filled in transformer tank the most important parts of transformer are the windings and the core some other parts such as suitable tank conservator bushings breather explosive vent etc are also used along with the core and windings bocal's relay conservator tank oil level breather and uh, thermal bushings all are indicated in this diagram see the transformer core along with windings are immersed inside the transformer tank transformer tank already filled with the transformer oil transformer oil is nothing but vitamin oil or mineral oil this is the important part we have to understand and the applications transformers are generally used for step up the voltage or step down the voltage also used for uh, measuring purpose measurement of current in single and three phase system measurement of voltage in single and three phase system measurement of power measurement of energy these are all the various applications of transformer here buckhalls relay are doing important role if moisturized content experienced by the transformer oil that will be sensed by this that will be uh, indicated by buckhalls relay with the help of alarm here transformer oil acts as dual medium right one for uh, cooling purpose another one for insulation purpose thank you all